Hey everyone, Spencer the Knowledge Fairon from Sky Sports is ringside toe to toe boxing podcast and hashtag toe to toe. Listen up, give Sporting Icon a follow. Right, there's an article here that you may or may not be interested in, but UFC star John Jones has said that he wants to fight Anthony Joshua or Deontay Wilder. And his influence behind all this was the success of Floyd Mayweather and of course Conor McGregor. And he's saying that there's not too much for him left to do in UFC. So why not go to boxing and make a lot of money? And money is his motivation. Now, as far as I'm aware, uh, now straight off the bat, okay, when it comes to UFC, MMA, all this kind of thing, Bellator, I get more confused. To me, they're all the same thing. Okay, I know, I know very little to nothing about these things other than fighting styles. That's pretty much all I know. I don't know who these people are or half of them. Conor McGregor, of course, I know. John Jones, I only know about him because he once called out Tony Bellew and because he's in the headlines for the wrong reasons for failing a PED test, which I believe he's still banned. I might be wrong. As I said, I'm not up to date on all this kind of thing. But anyway, he um, spoke to The Sun and this is what John Jones had to say. Right now, my mindset is more about making money. I watched Conor McGregor fight Floyd Mayweather and that was high risk, high reward. There's a saying, scared money, don't make money. I've got to be brave when I get back in the game and start challenging guys that I could possibly lose to because that's what people want to see. They want to see Jones versus Vasquez. They want to see Jones versus Naganu. Okay, that's what people want to see. That's where my mindset is. Jones versus Anthony Joshua or Deontay Wilder. That's what people want to see. I just knocked out Daniel Cormier in my last fight and some people consider him to be the best fighter that ever lived. So I don't really feel like I have that much to prove as far as being a light heavyweight champion and defending that belt. I'm kind of in this space now where I feel like I don't really have things to prove in the cage. So that is John Jones' statement. So. Quite clearly, this is about gimmick. And again, as always, I'll give you my honest opinion from what I know and what I feel. And if you guys agree, great. If you don't, great. That's fine. You're entitled to your own opinion. But for me, this is a money move. And he's pretty much admitted that. It's a case of, you know what? I've had enough of in the cage. And while I could go in there and potentially lose to someone and earn some pretty decent money, but I'd rather go into a boxing ring get knocked out, which is far easier to lose than to get my legs broken or neck broken inside the cage. And not only that, against Anthony Joshua especially, get paid a whole crap ton of money. So listen, my initial reaction is no thank you. I'm not really interested. Um, I don't particularly want to be seeing Anthony Joshua in with somebody who we know Joshua is going to break the face of. Just like Deontay Wilder gets in the ring with him, Deontay Wilder will break his face. And this isn't going to be a Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor where Floyd Mayweather took it easy on Conor McGregor. Okay, and McGregor, I know, is an exceptional fighter inside the cage, out on the street, wherever it may be, in a wrestling ring. But you put him in a boxing ring, it's totally different. This is like hockey versus basketball. It's totally, totally different. Now, there may be a few exceptions out there who's currently within the UFC and who may be able to transition to boxing and be very, very successful. I mean, Lucas Brown was one of them. Technically, I suppose you could say that Dylan White was one of them. He was a five-year reigning British kickboxing heavyweight champion, had one fight in MMA where he knocked the guy out in the first 20 seconds of the fight and he went straight into boxing and he's become successful. Of course, he's got a kickboxing background. As I said, Jared Miller's got a kickboxing background. Vitaly Klitschko has a kickboxing background. So I'm not saying you have to start off young just doing boxing, but you need a boxing background of some kind. And uh, John Jones, as I said, he will get his face beaten badly. Much like if you put Joshua in the cage with John Jones, you put Wilder in the cage with John Jones, John Jones would break every bone in their body but you put him in the boxing ring, it's totally different. It's totally different. I don't, listen, I don't mind the occasional gimmick here and there. A Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather. That was always going to sell. It was a novelty act. It was a circus act. And it was a blatant, give me your money. That's what it was. 
and people knew that and people still paid but is john jones a huge star in ufc maybe i have no idea would this do good numbers maybe i have no idea but for me i think that uh, there comes a point where you have to look at the safety of certain fighters because floyd mayweather versus conor mcgregor okay floyd mayweather hasn't been a knockout artist for many years okay and he played with conor mcgregor okay just teared off him tied him down broke him down and when conor mcgregor just gassed that's when floyd stepped up a bit and the referee put a stop to it so conor mcgregor didn't really get hurt too much in that fight but if you put somebody in with a heavyweight who will knock you spark out that's a dangerous move dangerous move and stupid move to be honest so him calling out even Tony Bellew Tony Bellew would ping him around the ring in the boxing ring but put Tony Bellew in the cage like I said Tony Bellew Anthony Joshua Deontay Wilder would have every bone in their body broken every bone no in fact as soon as John Jones grabbed a hold of them they would be tapping out before they even hit the ground if they had any kind of common sense about them anyway so it's two different sports so i don't want to be seeing this crossover if these ufc fighters want to come into boxing then start at the grassroots okay work your way up now there is that also that other thing as well where because wilder is a champion joshua is a champion john jones can't fight a champion okay he's not ranked you need to be ranked top 15 in a voluntary defense so it cannot happen anyway so john jones would have to transition into boxing by beating a top 15 for that to happen unless of course wilder or joshua vacate the title so it just wouldn't happen and as i said even if it could happen it's a stupid move john jones would potentially go to sleep on that canvas in the very first round because joshua don't play wilder don't play they hit you harder than a mule kicks. So it's a very, very stupid thing to do. And I wish that these UFC fighters would stop calling out boxers. These, the gimmick has been done. Let it die. Much like if a boxer wanted to call out John Jones. If Joshua called out John Jones to go into the cage, I'd be saying, Joshua, don't be so stupid. He will break your fingers. He will break your eye socket. He will break your neck. Don't be so stupid. It's two different sports. John Jones is an expert at what he does. Joshua is an expert at what he does. You put them together in one of the other environments, the one who is solid in that environment wins easy work. I don't want to be seeing no more of this transition. Don't want to see it. Whoever is managing or advising John Jones or any of these UFC fighters, tell them to shut up. Anybody who's a boxer and wants to go into UFC again start at the bottom learn your craft you don't get in there with the beast you just don't do it anyway that's my thoughts of course I'm not an expert on UFC MMA at all and I know many of you guys will be so many of you guys will probably look at say John Jones say well he has a good boxing pedigree and he could transition and he could legitimately give Joshua or Wilder problems personally I think if the likes of Povetkin Luis Ortiz and Vladimir Klitschko, who's been doing it all these years, couldn't give these people like Joshua and Wilder, couldn't beat them, then what the hell hope has John Jones got? Or anyone. And I know that Deontay Wilder, he called out Brock Lesnar about a year or so ago. Just pure stupidity. Pure stupidity. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Of course, you let me know yours. As I said, maybe you guys will know a lot more about this kind of thing than what I do. Um, I only believe that, that they are totally different sports. I know they're both combat. I know they are. And John Jones could probably transition into WWE if he wanted to, to go down that route of making money. And to be honest, he'd probably make more money in the WWE. Because in boxing, he's going to rely on one event where he's going to get embarrassed of being asleep on the canvas. But how many people would actually want to see it anyway? Unless, of course, John Jones is really disliked or really popular in UFC. Again, fans are just not going to be interested at all. I mean, is there literally anybody out there who believes that John Jones could get in the ring with Wilder or Anthony Joshua? And serious, of course. Not because you're an Anthony Joshua hater or, an, or a Deontay Wilder hater. But do you honestly believe that Ben Jones or any 
UFC fighter can get in the ring with a fighter, with um, Joshua, and win. Or even go a couple of rounds. Let's, let me put another question to you. Could any top elite UFC fighter get in the ring at their fighting weight in boxing against any other fighter of the same weight who is an elite boxer and beat him? I don't think so. But, as I said, I'm not an expert. Maybe you guys are. Drop your thoughts below about it. Click that thumbs up and subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.